Hey, I'm Mahmoud. Today I want to show you how to get some good tones out of your axe effects. All right, here we are talking about the Axe FX2, a unit that is well closing in on 10 years old, maybe even more. And I've been messing around with a dual amp configuration, which um, I've not done in years. And I figured I might as well show you how to do that and how you can get a lead tone out of that as well. So we're talking strictly metal here. Um, this is the tone that I ended up with. all the definition it's got all the high end it's got all the low end that you would want from a high gain guitar sound um it's kind of scooped which is not usually something i go for which was part of the experiment and here's how i went about it let me just switch to this so you can see exactly what i'm doing let's start with just uh, i'll keep the noise gate on the cab now the cab is something that um, I encourage you to get cabs that aren't factory made. The cabs that are on the Axe FX are okay, but I do struggle with them. So in my opinion, the cab is the most important part of the whole chain. If the cab isn't what you like, go for something else. So start with that. Pick a cab that you like. I happen to have the ML Zilla V30 uh, SM57, as well as the ML USA Gent SM57. Um, they are made by ML Sound Labs. Great cabs, great IRs. And the Zilla cab is something that I own myself, so I gravitated towards that naturally. And the blend, as you can see here, that's the only thing I did. I just... Um, took down the second cab here by eight and a half dBs. That's it. Then I went for the amp. Um, the gate is just on all the time. This is what works with my guitar. It might be different for yours. Experiment with that. Um, I'm going to leave that on except for the lead guitars. And here's the amp that I picked. I wanted to pick a rectifier sound because I've been playing some Kill Switch Engage and I was enjoying that sound, so I want to try that. Here's the Recto 1 Orange Modern. Um, let me just show you the settings. Here they are. And here's how this sounds. <laughs> Kind of woofy. Um, I'll be honest, this sounds bad as it is. But I did want to go for a blended sound, so I knew, like, I had a vision, all right? What you always pretty much need with a dual rack is a boost in front, and this is what that does. a lot tighter works wonders the boost is just the TS-80E 808 overdrive um, you know the one and from there I went okay what am I missing from this tone I have the highs I have the lows it's super scooped this is gonna get lost in any mix so how can I rectify this ha 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 this situation and what I figured I'd do is pick an amp that is very amp heavy, uh, very mid heavy, very amp heavy. And a mid heavy amp is this one, the Friedman HBE V2. 
and this is how that sounds. These are the settings, let me show you. Keep in mind the boost is on and the amp is quieter than the rectifier. I wanted the rectifier as the main sound, so keep that in mind. Um, here's what it sounds like without the boost. With the boost again. A lot more uh, pick attack, a lot more high end and aggression. And what I ended up doing is I wanted, like I said, I wanted the rectifier to be the main sound. And I wanted this one to just give me the missing mids. So, very simple. I started out with this. Okay, this is too scooped. Take that one and blend it in with this level button here. Blend it in until I have enough mids. I wound up at that number and this is the sound. Use the sloppy playing sitting in a chair with like an arm is so annoying to play but here we are and that's the rhythm sound now for the lead sound I basically went to this scene turned off the noise gate excuse the noise and engaged an EQ to give me some more high end and a little bit more low end for those leads and a delay that's it. That's the lead sound. Sounds great to me. And that is it. I mean, anything after that is just up to, t up to your taste. And just to make something really clear, let's go back to the rhythm sound. This is my custom cab stuff. Let's disengage that and pick this cab here, the 4x12 Uber V30. This is a stock cab. So it can work. And let's hear it. Maybe you'll even like this more. I'd be happy gigging that. It could work. Might make some tweaks to the amps, but all in all, totally giggable. Anyway, if you have any questions or want more uh, Axe Effects tutorials on how to get some so some some tones, leave them down below in the comments. And um, if you want, I can upload this somewhere so you can have these tones. Um, I don't know if it will work with. Uh, the ML stuff, but I'll make one with the stock. And you can have that. Alright. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching.